Men of Reddit have you ever been creeped out by a girl who was trying to flirt with you? Once had a girl who was a wrestler try to flirt by telling me she could probably crush me if she tried. I still went home with her even though it was pretty weird. She did not crush me. Yes. In middle school girls are so not subtle. Grabbing my ass. Trying to poke me in the ass with things. Asking me if I liked having boners. Yes. Because I'm happily married and she knows it. I get that some guys might not mind. But it makes me very uncomfortable. I don't reciprocate. I don't like it. And if it keeps happening. It gets very creepy. No. Because I usually tell myself she ain't flirting. She's just being nice. Who'd want to flirt with you? And just go on with life. I was once told by somebody that they pleasure themselves with a sweat rag I discarded that they dug out of the trash can. I think they meant it to be like oh what I did was totally cute and I really like you. But it was not what I wanted to hear. Yeah. When I was 16 and working at Wendy's one of my co-workers full on grabbed my dick with no warning. She thought she was flirting. When I was young there was this girl that was super into me. Even though she also knew my girlfriend at the time. We were teenagers and she would message me things like what would you do if I pulled you into the bathroom and take off my clothes? Despite countless attempts at just ignoring. Or telling her I wasn't interested. She did not relent. So my mother came with a good suggestion. This girl only knew me from a public space involving a mutual hobby. So I invited, well, accepted her suggestion, her to come over. Took her to a nearby park. Sat on a bench and just acted super nervous. Silent and socially awkward. Massive contrast to the outgoing. Smiling guy she had always seen. Never heard from her since. At lunch in the high school cafeteria. She tried to hold my hand. But I pulled away. Then she put her hand on my leg. Gradually caressed her way upward. Then started in the direction of the private property. I left without finishing my lunch. She had just broken up with my best friend and was trying to make him jealous. I guess. Ten years ago in college one of my female classmates was put in a group with me. After a few conversations about the project she whispers in my ear I'm a fat girl. Now. Mind you. I was like 220 pounds and she was no more than 100 pounds. I was caught off guard so I just laughed nervously. She would walk with me out of class regularly telling me about her other classes and stuff but stopped eventually. I still think about it. Yeah. I was meeting a girl who I had been set up with through a mutual friend. We'd chatted a bit and agreed to catch up on a Friday night in the city for drinks. On my way in to meet her she sent me incredibly graphic images of her vagina spread open. I hadn't met her in real life yet so it was a bit off-putting. In college I had a co-worker who was black invite me over for dinner. Her sister made dinner and joined us. After dinner. My co-worker asked if I was interested in an Aurea for dessert. But I didn't see any cookies. Yeah. I was goth I high school and the scene girl was creeping on me hard. She would follow me in the hallways and leave chocolates taped to my locker. Eventually I talked to her. Nice girl. But not really my type. Her gums looked like shark teeth. Like her teeth looked crazy because of it. We did party together unintentionally one time and got a little freaky. But that's as far as that went. For the first two months though I was creeped out. In hindsight maybe I should have appreciated it because to date she's the only girl to openly admit to being interested in me before we ever talked. I'm not exactly eye candy. Bold of you to assume girls flirt with me. Girl at a con saw me in a cosplay at a con. My wife was in a matching cosplay. Girl called me by character name and all but invited me to her room. Walked off holding wife's hand. Next day we did the group cosplay contest. Walked off stage. She asked me to sit with her to watch the rest. Like. WTF chick. Did you not just see me with a woman and two kids on stage? Was sitting at the bar. Day before Thanksgiving after work. I'm getting hammered. 
Just enjoying myself when this lady came in. She probably bar jumped with how she was walking and talking. Came up to me, the youngest guy in the place, and the first thing she said to me was oh how old are you? I bet I'm older than your mom, you wanna come to my place? I was creeped out. She bought me a drink though. I was so messed up and I spilled it. I felt kinda bad but I helped clean it up with the bartender and tipped her. The lady saw and tried to get me to go home with her and put her hands on me trying to go. I told her I had to piss, which I did. I went to the bathroom then snuck out of the back when she had her back turned. Yes I was 15 she was 28. She's actually pretty cool and we're friends before but I noticed that she's flirting with me which gets me so uncomfortable I am not into older women. I avoided her for like a week until she cornered me and told me that she's in love with me. I run. Six years ago, I was a high school teacher in my hometown. She was my student. After the class ended and all of the other students left the classroom, she approached me. I thought she wanted to shake my hand. So I held out my hands. She grabbed my hand and put it to her boobs. I quickly pulled my hand. She smiled and ran away. I left my hometown. Move out 500 miles away and start a new life here. I was at work one morning and this girl was trying to flirt with me by talking about my dick size and how sad it would be if my dick was the size of my index finger. I've never been more uncomfortable in my life. Yay. Right after I got married years ago my wife's employee, she ran a Starbucks, started flirting real bad. Wouldn't talk to me if my partner was around but went instant googly eyes when she wasn't. Went so far as to tell her co-workers we had a secret affair and I was hers. Of course my partner found out and was able to transfer her to another store. When the same thing happened there with another employee's spouse. They fired her. Edit to add I told my spouse right away about the flirting and she said not to worry about it. She was just a flirt. When it got crazy she sat me down and told me about the stories and I should probably keep my distance until she can resolve it. Was kinda crazy really. A girl I worked with was talking to me at a gig one night. The next morning, I went into the office and she sent me an email titled Hey Sexy. It was pretty cringe and I got annoyed as the IT guys were probably laughing their asses off. In trans so maybe you won't count me but I have had women literally sexually harass me and grope me without asking colon. First job out of college. Was working in an office. One of the intern girls, was only 18, would hit on me hard and send strong signals whenever I walked by her. I felt uncomfortable because I was very concerned about my reputation as it was my first job and I had debts to pay off. Yes. One statement. I can smell your pussy. Family gatherings when I was a kid were the worst. Now I'm older. I realize how creepy older women are towards children. I'm a girl and I've been creeped out by a girl who was trying to flirt with me. Some people are just born creepy. She kind of looked a bit trollish and was obsessed with sex. Had mental disabilities. And was bisexual. Within five minutes of me meeting her she was playing with my hair and said oh by the way I'm bisexual. Smirking face. Girl I just met you. Not that creepy. But a bullet dodged for sure. I am currently serving in the US Navy stationed in San Diego. I had a young woman with a lot of tattoos hit on me aggressively at the minimum on base. I am in a long term relationship so just politely said bye after I paid for my things and left. About a week later I saw the same girl hitting on someone else and my buddy who was with me informed me that she is a prostitute and sleeps with people. Then demands money and threatens to have her pimp go after them. Yes. Prostitutes get on base. Rumor is that there are pimps who are navy sailors. And they get the girls on base in exchange for a cut of their money. All the time. They've touched my body acting seductive when I'm just trying to have a beer and play some pool or darts. It's not cool and I usually have to scare them off with some weird ass comment. My favorite one to use so far is, sorry. I have the clap. She invited me to her house and I get there and we start watching Netflix. We're both 17 and she turns on kids Netflix and starts watching a bunch of kiddie shows. 
Not that I'm judging her taste in shows or whatever but it was really off-putting to see her enjoying word party as well as for the show to still be playing. When she goes down on me. We were on the couch so when she went down I was staring directly at the anthropomorphic animals doing their baby talk. My wee wee wasn't doing anything after that and she got kinda upset. Had a girl in high school come on to me very strongly to the point where I was uncomfortable enough to threaten to go to a teacher about it. They backed off after that. Back in my high school days. There was this girl that was a year younger than me. She was geeky and not amongst the popular crowd. I was never one to look at someone different or make fun because of issues people had like my peers. She was a black girl that had a skin issue where her skin would be scaled and peel all over her body. She had asked me for my while I walked by a park and I gave her a fake. She called it and realized the fake and proceeded to hold on to me. When I got free she literally chased me through the neighborhood before I lost her. Yeah back when I was in college I was interested in this girl and she was also into me. However. Very quickly after we started flirting and talking she got super intense. She'd count the days we talked or texted. She'd call me randomly during the night. Or record me when I had a presentation for the one class we had together. Ended up with me just ignoring her and avoiding her all around. Fast forward a year or so later and she turned into a super sweet girl who's now, more years later, a really close friend of mine who's a lot more chill lol. I think she was just immature at the time and needed time to figure out who she was. When you're gay. Every woman hitting on you is uncomfortable. There was a time I had made out with a girl who was flirting with me. Everything was fine and hot not until she took off my shirt and nibbled my nipples. I'm a guy. While at work a customer came through my line and asked me if I got my face from my parents or if I had plastic surgery done. I didn't understand what was going on until she just later said that I was attractive. Weirdest way to compliment someone. I once had a junior from college sidle up right next to me and hold on to my pinky finger and chat me up for a good 45 minutes when she was drunk. I had a girlfriend at the time and was super uncomfortable with the whole thing. I didn't even know who she was at the time. So it was also damn confusing. Yes. Because I am gay and it was right in front of our friends and she pretended to be like a baby as flirted with me. This woman said she would finger my bum. Goddamnit. Yes. Back when I was living in an old apartment. I had this roommate. She was much older than I was. And not particularly attractive. Quite the opposite actually. I used to play video games almost all the time in my room. And she would occasionally join in to watch and chat. One day. I was playing Witcher 3. And was explaining what was possible in that game. She then laid in my bed. And asked me to go to the brothel and have sex with the prostitute there. I I I I, I was kinda creeped out at that point. Yeah one time in sixth the girl asked me out I kindly replied no and then she said I have a fucking boyfriend. Yeah it was always kind of awkward ever since and we lived on the same street road the same bus and five out of six of our classes were the same. Well I am not handsome but thankfully not ugly by any means. I have the unfortunate effect of attracting younger girls. Unluckily that includes my ten years younger little sister's friends. One time she invited her then best friend when she was 11. The little devil spent the afternoon less than a meter away from me asking all sorts of questions in a manner that was definitely not cute. And while you can playfully ignore many of the advances some other girls made. She was overly persistent and by the time she asked if I had a girlfriend I was already creeped out. And trust me you'd be surprised of how creepy a 12 year old girl can be. I just hope she doesn't grow up like that. I pity the fool who'll have to deal with her. Yeah. She was 38. Sure. Creepiness is usually caused by a moment where someone's expectation of how they should be treated is considerably beyond the treatment that you're willing to give them. And some women don't understand boundaries. When she was drunk and asked me to rape her. I didn't know she had that fetish. But I've never noped the fuck out of a situation faster. It's never fun to spring a rape fantasy onto someone you haven't even told you like that shit. 
I once got hit on by a 14 year old online. By God, that was creepy. I'm 22 for reference and she was aware of this fact. It was all very uwu. And the chat logs haunt me to this day. Haha no I'm not some creepy virgin beta cuck. Begins to cry. Absolutely. Bold of you to assume a girl has flirted with my ugly self. Was working at my cool in town and this slightly special needs woman came in. Ig she was kinda regular but this was my first year. And when I was on my shift at the sand area she came over and started taking with me for like 10-15 minutes and constantly readjusting her bikini and messing with her hair. Made me super uncomfortable. Next morning when I was cleaning. A couple lifeguards told me she was definitely flirting with me. No but then again that doesn't happen very often. Wasn't really creeped out. But I remember one girl would come up and order from our fast food place. I was the cashier to serve her a bunch of times. She was a 9 stroke 10 and completely out of my league yet she was still flirting with me somehow. Eventually on Valentine's Day she came up flirting again and her, I assumed, boyfriend came and got her and I never saw her again. I still have no idea if she was actually into me or not. When I was in my teens. I went to visit my sister in a mental facility as she was struggling with mental health at the time. I remember waiting in the foyer to see my sister when I was approached by a girl who was around my age. But she looked really unwell. She came up to me with a really creepy grin and said hello I'm Jessica Rose and I like to pose and then proceeded to a spin and then oh I'm so pretty pose pose. It creeped me out at the time as I was already on edge and I had no idea how to react. In hindsight I should have treated her better as she was obviously going through a lot but man it was creepy. I hot introduced to her mother as a her BF. The look on my face still makes me laugh just thinking about it. I'm usually awestruck that someone would have the guts to play a game of chicken with me. Was riding my bike with a few friends when I was about 13 and a woman who had to be at least 30 and for lack of a better word. Very unattractive. Drove up to us and asked if we wanted to have a good time and she would make us feel good. Needless to say we said no thanks and rode off. I've had my ass grabbed and other displays of complete lack of understanding of personal boundaries. But that never bothered me much. Some assertiveness fixes it instantly. What creeped me out was this lady who I hadn't seen in over a year. Who had created seemingly created an entire fictional story of what had happened during that period. How I had cruelly rejected her. Ignored her messages on Facebook and such. I latched onto the Facebook messages because if she could conjure them somehow. It would be proof of her claims but. Obviously. She couldn't. I didn't even have a FB account. Number. But only because every time a girl has been flirting with me I didn't realize until www.aaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
and because I'm a basically friendly dude and wasn't doing anything I chatted back. Within five minutes she asked about my tattoos, told me she had an unusually high pain tolerance, informed me she was tattooed all over, wink, and showed me a tattoo on her ribcage by hiking up her sundress, right there at the bar. Now, I'm not the swiftest with hints, but I picked up what she was laying down, chugged my beer and left. No time for that level of enthusiasm when I got someone in my life. About 10 years ago when I was working in a grocery store, a girl was interested in me. She would write cringe Facebook posts about the guy she liked and always quote love songs lyrics and whatnot. The scary and creepy part was I never told anyone where I lived. One morning I woke up and walked outside to find I miss your face painted onto my car windows. I was happy when I left that town to start college. Yeah. She was super clingy. Nasty. And just straight crazy. She made my stomach turn the way she flirted. No. I never even noticed when a girl was trying to flirt with me. Which both amused and infuriated my wife. No. Been uncomfortable because I knew I was going to make her night bad when I turned her down and I hate making people upset. But I've never been in any danger. I could always walk away. I was on a text support call for a college dorm and stopped in to look at a connectivity issue for a girl about two years younger than me at the time. She was appreciative. But what sent the conversation over the edge was when she creepily told me that if there's anything she could do for me to let her know. I had to then let her know I was good. And went on my way. No thanks. Babe. I'm good. She didn't flirt but in second grade a girl was behind me in line and kissed my shoulder I was so weirded out. That was years ago though. Last year this girl tried hitting on me but she was too shy to do it in person so she wrote me a letter. Found out my address and sent it to me, we are both in high school it's not impossible to find someone's address but still creepy. The letter was a generic love letter and the ultimate turn off was that she used an office quote at the end. She sent a similar letter to one of my friends a month later. In the unlikely event that would ever happen. I think I would miss all the hints. Yes. She admitted to me within 5 minutes that she had schizoaffective disorder. Just like my ex-wife had. I politely said I had to go and encouraged her to be strong with her issues. Then I said goodbye. That's all. Only once. I was sitting quietly in the backyard at a party when this young lady came over and sat next to me. Within about a minute we had gone from what is your name? To her taking her top off. To her aggressively trying to force her breast into my mouth. I went off to get drinks and never looked back. Yes. I work in a hotel. There was a former TV star that stayed with us. Who was in her 70s. I was in my early 20s. She made several comments over the length of her stay that creeped me the fuck out. And even if I wasn't gay would have made me very uncomfortable. In 7th grade. This girl in my class started flirting with me. She wasn't pleasing to my eyes so I did not show much interest. I was creeped out when I was told that she was fasting so she could have me. Hindu tradition where wives fast for their husband's longer lifespan. I was glad when she changed school so I could have one less thing to be embarrassed about. My ex actually. While she was pretty. I was kind of off put by her. She called me one night to rant about her douche dad before really getting to know me. She would talk about her exes, which she had a lot of. Many of whom had made advances while we were together. She once followed me when I wanted to be alone but just made things awkward. She was just generally a selfish person. Worst though. When I was talking to another girl we knew. She straight up grabbed my arm and held it even though I tried to wiggle free. In hindsight. I should have trusted my gut. But I was young and had never had a relationship before. Yes. But only because we were related.
I was 19 at the time and working in a mill and stopped off at an O&W for a snack after work. The woman working the till looked like she was 40 plus years old and looked like a crack addict. I step up to the counter to order and she practically climbs over the counter and sniffs from my waist up and before I can do or say anything she says you're a mill worker I can tell. I love the smell of wood haha. Most creepy time I've been hit on by far. Had a childhood friend just dead stare at me for 20 minutes straight from inside her car during her dad's funeral wake. She did the same thing during a family feast in my teens so I'm pretty sure that's her idea of flirting. The closest I ever had was back in high school. I was a bundle of self-loathing and insecurity. So when a friend of a friend started being real touchy-feely with me, like, would grab my ass or literal jump on me when she saw me. I didn't realize it was because she was interested in me. I just thought it was weird. And I sorta tried avoiding her. Girl flirt with guys?